The Shark Navigator Liftaway Speed is an upright vacuum. It's an entry-level model within Shark's extensive lineup of liftaway bagless uprights, which are designed to allow you to pick up and carry its canister while vacuuming with its wand. Compared to pricier models like the Shark Apex Upright, it has a simpler single brush hole forehead and doesn't feel as sturdily built. Thankfully, its self-cleaning 0M brush hole isn't as tangle-prone as most other brush holes. Differences between sizes and variants There are many variants of the Shark Navigator Liftaway, which differ in terms of included parts and are listed below. Since there are no major mechanical differences between these models, we expect them all to perform similarly in testing. We tested the Shark Navigator Liftaway Speed CU560C in blue. Compared to other vacuums, the Shark Navigator Liftaway Speed is a basic but fairly versatile corded upright vacuum. It has a similar design to newer models like the Shark Rotator Liftaway ADV, which allow you to uncouple its canister from its body. While it has a less powerful suction motor than most other Shark uprights, like the flagship Shark Apex upright, its floorhead does offer good surface agitation, resulting in fairly strong debris pickup performance on carpeting. Ultimately, it's a very solid option if you're looking for relatively affordable upright and it's a significantly better value than the price or yet quite similar Shark Navigator Lift Away Deluxe. Build quality. This vacuum has okay build quality, with a mainly plastic construction. Though its wand is metal, it doesn't feel especially sturdy overall, particularly its fragile dirt compartment. Thankfully, the vacuum itself is easy to assemble and disassemble, with plenty of easy clip mechanisms that allow you to click various components together. However, it can be hard to decouple its canister from its main body, User Maintenance This vacuum has many parts that need regular cleaning, and not all of them are easy to access. Dirt Compartment The dirt compartment comes away from the main body pretty easily after you press the release latch. You should empty it after every cleaning session. You can also open it from the top to access the lint screen, which you should clean regularly. Brush Roll The brush roll isn't designed to be removed, which makes it pretty hard to clear away any tangled hair especially because the forehead is quite heavy. You can still get better access to it by using a coin, flathead screwdriver, or anything similar to lift the brush roll cover. While the manufacturer advertises the brush roll to be self-cleaning, some hair can still get caught in it. Pre-motor filters. The foam and felt pre-motor filters are located underneath the dirt compartment and can be lifted out easily. You need to clean them underwater every three months. Post-motor, HEPA filter. You can easily access the HEPA filter by removing the front cover on the vacuum. You should clean it once a year with water. Recurring costs. This vacuum incurs moderately high recurring costs. Pre-motor filters. The foam and felt pre-motor filters should only need replacing after a couple of years, though no specific replacement interval is given by the manufacturer. Post-motor, HEPA filter. There's an inconsistency on Shark's website regarding how often you should replace the HEPA filter. In the user manual, it suggests cleaning it once a year, but in the HEPA filter's product description on their website, it suggests replacing it every six months. Maneuverability. This vacuum has all right maneuverability. Its rotating head makes it easier to navigate between obstacles, but the bulky shape of the forehead and dirt compartment makes it hard to clean tight spaces or underneath furniture. Its forehead can also get caught on rug tassels and very dense carpets, forcing you to turn it off to pull it free. Its somewhat heavy weight can be in use when lifting it over obstructions like electrical cords. Thankfully, its crevice tool soft bristle brush attachment is within easy reach, thanks to the onboard tool storage slot. Air quality. This vacuum does a good job of filtering out fine allergens. Its foam and felt pre-motor filters, combined with its HEP exhaust filter, allow it to capture a good amount of airborne particles. If you're especially sensitive to allergens, it's worth seeking out a bag vacuum with a HEPA filter, like the Camor Intuition Bag, which has an added layer of filtration in the form of its dirt bag. Removing a self-sealing dirt bag is a far more hygienic process than shaking out a plastic dustbin, which can release a large plume of dust and other fine particles. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.